it's a genuine privilege to be here. I think the record for the shortest commencement speech ever given was one that Andrew Jackson gave as President of the United States at Harvard University. It consisted of just three words, e pluribus unum, and then he sat down. It was the motto of the United States of America then, it is now. I think I'm setting a record today by giving not a short commencement speech as that, but giving uh, the speech three times, and thanks to COVID, in two different formats. It's a real pleasure to see a real graduation, uh, and it's a real pleasure to be here at Stevens. My family and I are very grateful for you making me part of the class of 2021. And they send their greetings from their alma mater, which is the Stevens of the Charles. It is the school of my daughter who became a physician, my wife who is a lawyer, and her great grandmother who became a professor of biological science. Their MIT, like Stevens, opened opportunities early for women and opened opportunities to make sure that people not only understood the history of something, but why something works. So just a little bit about history. The first time I visited your campus was to see President Favarden shortly after he became your president, and he wanted to help in thinking through how Stevens could attract and enable more international students to attend all of your degree programs. Because our headquarters offices are at the United Nations at that time, I thought of Hoboken as a foreign trip, and, and therefore I added a little extra time to get here uh, to see your campus and not be late for the president. Unfortunately, it was pouring rain, and I took immediate refuge in your library. I'm very glad I did, because at the time, and maybe there still is, there was a, a, a display devoted to all of the things that had been discovered and invented here at Stevens. I remember looking at two things in particular. Uh, one was uh, the invention of the internet and email. The other was bubble wrap. And I realized coming here today that email and bubble wrap are probably the two most indispensable ingredients to get through this pandemic that we have aside from the vaccines, which I know you will all get. Th this is the 12th pandemic in the history of the Institute of International Education. We know that what saves us from each of the pandemics we faced in those 100 plus years is uh, the discoveries made by science and engineering uh, for the root causes of the problem, for the vaccines that will cure them, and ward off uh, future infections. So I'd like to think that as this pandemic ends, it will reinforce the message that science and learning, working together, and engineering applying what is learned and what science discovers is the key to saving us all. The other thing that you will have gotten at Stevens is the other ingredient that's so essential to getting any of us through the pandemic. Uh, and that ingredient is compassion. All of you have been in some way on the front lines of helping us get through this pandemic. And I remember when it began uh, turning once again to the story that uh, Albert Camus wrote called La Plague, La Peste, uh, and he wrote it about 10 years before he received the Nobel Prize for Literature. And it is about a story about a doctor who becomes a hero in a village because he discovers both some engineering solutions for proper sanitation, but because he just went about his job uh, helping people who were ill. And one of the villagers asked him, uh, how will we get through the pandemic? And he said, uh, by compassion. And the villager then said, what is compassion? And the doctor replied, it is just doing your job. 
All through this pandemic, your Stevens was on the job. Your students, your faculty, your graduates uh, worked with local communities and businesses here when they first needed help in telemarketing and digitizing their business. They helped later on when your community needed a technical way to find out where to get tested and ultimately where and when to get a vaccine. And through the Stevens Initiative, what you have done is given us all a gift so that we are able to have a curated set of data, a curated set of resources on how to pivot from online instruction to digital or hybrid instruction because we need to be as prepared today for the next pandemic as we might be for tomorrow. And thanks to the Stevens Initiative, this is precisely what you have contributed. Stevens remained on the job of education, service, and research. That's what great universities do, and this may be the first time in history that universities, instead of closing their doors during a pandemic, did all they could to keep them open, to keep the labs functioning, and when they couldn't provide in-person education, to provide it in a hybrid way. So staying on the job for this university and for the class of 21 is going to be more important than ever. Your Stevens motto is also a Latin phrase. Uh, it talks about from adversity to the stars. It's an apt motto for this graduation. We, all of us, students, faculty, parents, families, have gone through a period of adversity. But what you have also learned and will apply is the ability to navigate through the stars and by the stars to help us all cross the finish line of this pandemic and into a bright new future that the class of 2021 will engineer for us all. Thank you, thank your families, uh, thank all here for inviting me. I'm deeply honored.